Hi guys, I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial showing you how to install a thing called an IDE. Now what an IDE is, it's a program similar to a text editor and it makes things like Java programming just a hundred times easier because um, if you remember from the last tutorial we had to manually compile our Java files using the command prompt. Well if you have an IDE you don't need to worry about that, you can just compile all your classes and all your files with a click of a button even if you have um, hundreds of them. Uh, so for the purposes of future tutorials I'm going to be using an IDE called NetBeans. There's many other good IDEs such as Eclipse. Can s you can download that if you want. They don't differ too much. Um, but if you just want to stick with me, uh, head on to Google, type in NetBeans and then the first page that you'll see, NetBeans.org, head to that and you can download NetBeans ID 7.0. 7.0 is the current one at this time. Uh, I'll put download links in the description. And now, as you can see, there's several different downloads to suit. Just move the recorder. Seven different down, several different downloads to suit the needs of uh, the developer. Uh, if you're not limited on memory and things like that, I would just recommend downloading um, the one that says all. That way, you get you include all of uh, languages that you may want to use in the future. If you've got sort of memory limitations or uh, slow internet, something like that. Just uh, download the Java EE. It's uh, 157 megabytes. Uh, but if not, just download the all ones. Make things easier. And now, once you've installed, once you've downloaded it, you can go and install it. Uh, choose your locations. Choose a location to install it. Your workspace for it. Things like that. And in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be showing you around NetBeans and I'm going to be showing you how to build uh, your first functioning program uh, and I'll see you then